Greetings, my positive brothers and sisters. Nathan the Apostle, the Blue Ninja here in full attire. And this is real time. This is how I have to uh, be around here. It's absolutely face mask required everywhere uh, inside. And um, a lot of people wear them outside. <clears throat> so I've been forced to do it. This is really what, what we got to do in a lot of parts of the country. A lot of and all and elsewhere um, so this is the last day of my hotel hopping on a personal note take this off <laughs> um, just been hotel hopping a little bit here in, uh, in downtown Vegas the prices are not too bad uh, believe it or not because of course they want you to gamble so if you don't gamble you can you can do okay for a few days financially and um, and I just got word that uh, my next new job is confirmed. Hallelujah. Um, always nice to hear. Um, so I think my hotel hopping is coming to an end and I'll be getting back out there and, uh, and having the money roll in again, <laughs> which is necessary as we all know. So um, this is my last day of limbo, should be. Um, and. Uh, more you know I'll be stepping it up for white well-being as much as I can as the money rolls in and as I start traveling around the country again so um, quick update on that I was gonna do uh, a quick video outside this hotel um, because um, this is yet another one that also requires temperature checks just to even enter the building cannot get anywhere inside without a temperature check and uh, like I said before, I had it at a previous hotel a couple days ago. And uh, so a lot of them are probably doing it, but not all of them uh, was that one that didn't do it. Um, but they're definitely all masks. And this is the second one with the temperature check. And this one had a big old sign. I almost did a video right out there in front of it. Um, just to show the reality like so many of us know. Um, just day to day big old sign big old block at the door saying this is a temperature checkpoint mass required temperature checkpoint um, just to even enter the building so you're looking at that just standing outside and they get security everywhere now security at the at the doors uh, to take your temperature they get added security posts all over the place uh, you know at the doors uh, just to get up to your room uh, and stuff like that <clears throat> so all of these measures are as we know because of anti-whiteism and um, you know we're we're, <laughs> we're living in a police state pretty much it's an anti-white police state uh, so just that uh, quick little bit there um, and uh, and my personal update, and uh, and again my appreciation and thanks to everyone for uh, supporting, and in, uh, in many ways offering a kind word and stuff like that. And hey, we're we're all in this together. We're all struggling, not just me. There are people struggling far worse than me. Um, we're all, as far as I can, as far as I see, we're all. Uh, on the same line in the trenches locking arms just like Jason says we're all right here in the muck we're all rowing our boat we're all um, standing with each other together so um, <clears throat> so I stand with you all and we all stand together and that's a beautiful thing and uh, that's it for right now um, and uh, uh, just one just quick kind of random tidbit is is just obviously all the anti-whiteism here and the the non-white um, advertising again just all over the place uh, of course the demographics reflect that here very much so and just reminded me of um, something that Jason has touched on with uh, just something in particular uh, MLK um, I, just like Jason says, shares in his personal story growing up, 
when he was younger, he noticed MLK. Why do we have to worship MLK? You know, so much more uh, than, than, than our white heroes in the past and stuff. And this one particular guy, MLK, is absolutely over-idolized to extreme levels. And, uh, of course, non-white, of course, anti-white narrative. Um, and uh, just, to, just to back that up, um, I, ever since I started trucking and traveling around the country, I have noticed MLK absolutely everywhere. And many of you know there's an MLK street, big boulevard in every city, every major city. Um, and, you know, many of us have seen it a fair bit. Um, but when I started traveling around the country, that's when I realized how extreme it is. There's pretty much a street named MLK in, in, in every major city and even many medium-sized cities. There's highways. It's not just one or two. There's, there's tons and tons of highways and smaller highways and stuff that are MLK. So as I travel around the country, everywhere in the country, everywhere, um, not just the South, not just anywhere else, it's absolutely everywhere, places that he probably never even went to, probably never had anything to do with. His name is posted on signs, memorials, street names, highway names, everything you can think of, districts, whatever, all over the country. <laughs> and it's just one uh, thing I've noticed that I got that I am so sick of seeing MLK MLK everywhere and uh, so just like Jason says that is uh, just one way uh, that the anti-whites have, have pushed hard uh, this non-white anti-white uh, on us heavily and uh, just one particular example there um, of the extreme anti-whiteism of the non-white variety or using a non-white um just that's it for now and uh just a little update thanks to y'all love y'all and uh got some new digs here and tomorrow i should be heading out and uh getting rolling on the truck it should be a whole new adventure so stay strong keep up the good work love y'all god bless y'all white well-being for life Take it easy.